Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of the add-on spotlight slash tutorials. Now, today, we are going to be going over DBM. So, to start off here, type slash DBM. It's going to bring up a little menu that looks sort of like this. Might be a little different if you're using a different UI. Um, I've got LVUI, which I've linked in my last video, which is going to be in the playlist that I have down below. Now, a little bit about um, Deadly Boss Mods. You can get it for every expansion, not just Warlords of Draenor. Um, you can get it for Dark Moon, of Dark Moon Fair. You can get it for like every PvP. You can get it for just about everything. And it's completely customizable. You've got HUD maps that go all over the place. And I'm gonna break down every little bit of this add-on for you today. So, we can reset all your stats. So, this is our Garrison Invasion tab. Um, if I go into Hellfire Citadel, you can click Load Add-on. So, that'll load it manually, but you can also load it as you're going into the place. Now, this also has for every single dungeon in the game that they've tracked but let's go ahead and start off with the options tab so you can enable or disable DBM you can show a little icon on your mini map I don't like that because you know it's in the way and you can just type slash DBM on your keyboard so you get the icon back you can ask it what channel it's playing through sound effects dialogue or master. Master is going to be if we go into system and throw DBM over here. Master is going to be master volume. You can move DBM around by left clicking on your mouse and moving it over the screen. You can hide, show the range frame, show hide the info frame which is going to be what's in the range range frame so for instance there's currently range 10 players 1 that player is me we can start a test bar which tests where that is it tests where all your bars are so all of my bars are currently rearranged in a way that I currently don't like so how do we change that? You can also enable the 3D boss mod option, but general options. So this shows the timer, of show timer, broadcast messages and message frame. So that's this. If you don't like this, it basically shows Five, everything that's four, happening here. Three or here one. in your Beware. chat frame which is behind behind the webcam so I kind of can't well I can't show that to you here we go so right here if we're gonna go back and click on wow right here Four, is three, where two, one. your chat frame shows so show engaged messages in chat show kill white messages in chat show guild engage so guild engage it'll just show up guild has engaged hellfire assault that's all it'll show it'll show what difficulty it'll show how many people are in it it's pretty easy disable status whispers for the entire group so for instance if you are midwinter method running for a world first guild and you are raid leader, guild master, and you don't want people when they whisper their friends to know what boss you're on or something of that nature. You click that and that will show you, that will make it so that way in the chat frame when someone whispers you, they do not know what you're doing or where you are. So raid warnings. You can show faked raid warnings, so that's going to be like a little grayish symbol. 
it looks weird and it's a little to get used to so I really don't like it show icon on left side show icon on right side so if we click move me and we go to um, I don't know if it's in this bar but it will show up over here you can font flag it you can change it to any font you currently have installed all of these fonts are fonts from SCADA, fonts from LVI, basically any font that is currently installed you can use with DBM. You can change the different sound effects something makes. How big is the font? So I left that at 29. So if we re-click move me, um, announce movable, and this moves. You can change what type of what type of um, raid warning it is. So if it's, for instance, on the example down here, you can specify the position of the color of the raid warning frame. The frame is used for messages like player X is afflicted with player Y. So, bar colors by dummies. So, clicking drag me will allow you to move all your bars. Where did the other one go? Oh, it's stacked on top of it for some reason. There we go. So I leave those on the left-hand side of the screen. Over that that way. It's going to be that way. Ha. Huh? Anyway, over on the right-hand side of the screen because it's out of the way. So clicking right, right icon. It's going to give you both icons over here. You can change how big the bar is, how little the bar is, where the bar is. So, special warning. So, for instance, Iron Reaver, Barrage, that shows up. Now, if you don't like the flashing of the screen, you can have it repeat. I think you can disable it. You can make it show your class. Heads up display. So this is going to show, for instance, on Beast Lord Darmac in Black Rock Foundry, or um, what's that fight in Hellfire Citadel? Um, Hellfire Assault, the first boss. Why I can't remember that, I'll never know, but we've done it so many times, that's probably why. So anyway, when a bomb drops on the ground, one of those little markers will show up. And basically, you're going to run over to it and DPS it. And it moves with you, it moves around you, it's pretty easy to use. You can change which one each of these does. Spoken alerts, so... What kind of alert goes on here? I have some of the voice enables turned off. Health bars, so that's gonna show you the health bar of the boss. I don't like that because I already have the health bar enabled over here and there's no point in having a third one or a second one over here. So, DBM, globals, disables, and filters. This is going to basically tell you, oh, don't send chat yells, do not accept shared notes, do not display countdown sounds. So that's going to be like five, four, 
three, two, one, stuff like that. Don't show the HUD map, so don't show the giant circles all over the screen type of thing. You can change all that within here. You can change all the stats. You can disable and enable things. You can show gear. So show gear alert messages during poll when your equipped item level is much lower than your bag item level. 40 item levels or main hand weapon is not equipped. So if we were about to pull and my main hand weapon wasn't equipped, it would flash the screen and say, hey, your weapon isn't equipped, or hey, you have a fishing hat enabled. Something like that. Play alert, sound, and flash application icon if you are losing health while AFK. I don't see how that could be helpful. Unless you're like fishing or, you know, doing something stupid. Because if you're AFK, you're nowhere near your keyboard hitting things. So there's no point in having an alert on your screen. Okay. Show sure record victory timer. So at the bottom of your bottom of your timer it's just gonna show you you know how much time there is till the timer starts so if we want to do a pizza timer for dinner you type I don't know 20 seconds hit start timer and it will show your timer bar of where it is so here's another simple trick if you are using deadly boss mods or big wigs, both of them have this feature. Big wigs, you can tell it that it's using deadly boss mods, or deadly boss mods, you can tell it that it's using big wigs. Basically saying, if your guild says that you have to use big wigs, or that you have to use DBM, you can go get big wigs and hit the button that says pretend I'm using DBM and every time someone goes to version check you it'll say that you're using DBM so that's the way around it it's kind of funny okay so if we go over to bosses each one of those are going to be hooked up like this I have the PVP one installed because I PvP on a warrior and it's kind of funny to watch but it just it'll show the same IDs and stuff in the corners and over all over the place so if we go ahead and click on Elfire Citadel click load as we can see down here in the lower left hand corner of my screen Loaded Hellfire Citadel mods. For more options such as custom alert sounds and personalized warning notes, hit slash dbm. So basically that's going to be everything in here. So it'll tell you your amount of victories, your amount of wipes for each boss on this first screen. And then there will be another module where you click here clicking Hellfire Assault will show you the boss's icon so it'll show you her because she's within the first 50% of the phase it gives you all of your different add-ons that go within the boss all the modules of like oh hey look bombs are dropping oh hey look um, a tank is coming out it'll show you all of that and that just happens to be for each one of these. And then if we're going to go for, for instance, Archimon. How he's in different stages. Stage 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 is labeled as Mythic Difficulty. If you are not in a Mythic Raiding Guild, do not enable those. The reason I say do not enable those is because sometimes DBM or big wigs will screw up and it will add one of those into the timer and you're going to be like, where would the Doombringer go? Or where would this guy go? It's just sometimes it confuses people. 
and you can also if they've got it on here which they do show info frame for shackled torment so for instance if we were to get the range icon back out and the show info hide it will tell you the show range would expand and it would be up here on my screen and it would give you three little circles and then it'll tell you how many people are within each circle it'll tell you how far away you are from said circle it's pretty cool and it also has a module for trash you can do that for each one of these you cannot however disable the module after you've loaded it and it does take up a lot of memory to keep them loaded so what I like to do after I'm done figuring out what I want to do with the add-on is I will slash reload UI and it'll reload your UI for you Then you just have to type slash dbm why in the world okay well anyway you will type slash dbm and if we want to do the for instance garrison modules is already loaded it tells you how like how many things so these are the bosses in your garrison. And it'll just tell you each one of these. You can activate the Dark Moon Fair, you can activate every single dungeon. You just move all the bars around on your screen. I prefer big wigs, which is what I personally use. The only reason I'm currently using DBM is because DBM has a HUD map and I haven't figured out how to enable that in big wigs. I hope you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have fun being able to figure out when things happen now.